Hello everyone and welcome to this series on how to make an endless runner game so in this tutorial we are going to improve the graphics of our game so we we'll switch to the universal render pipeline so that we can add some post processing effects and also we are going to curve the world as you can see here I can change the strength of the curve we'll use uh, a curve shader so without further ado let's get started As you can see, when you create a new project, you get some options, and one of these options is 3D, which is going to use the built-in render, but you, we have here the universal one, which is using the universal render pipeline, so we are going to upgrade our project to use the universal render pipeline. And to do that, let's go ahead and open our project. then let's open the package manager and to do that go to window package manager then over here let's search for universal render pipeline and here we have the package so go ahead and install it using this install button Then let's close this window and under your assets right click create and let's create universal render pipeline asset using this options under the rendering then hit enter so the default name is okay for now now we need to go to edit project settings and under the graphics we need to change the uh, universe the scriptable render pipeline to this one universal render pipeline asset but as you can see this is going to mess up all the materials of our project so when you hit play you see that it turns purple and to fix that we need to upgrade the materials so go to edit render pipeline and universal render pipeline and over here select upgrade uh, materials then we need to re-import all the materials so under the assets right click and select re-import all and the problem is going to be fixed and as you can see now our game looks fantastic and also we can add some post-processing effects so to do that let's go ahead and create an empty game object using right click create empty and let's call this post-processing and now to add post processing effects go ahead and add a new component and the component is called volume make sure that the mode is global and over here let's create a new profile then hit add override and here you can add some post processing effects for example bloom make sure that you select everything then select the main camera and over here make sure that you select post processing so that we can see the effects and you can hit play and play around with the settings select the post processing empty game object and here try to play around with the settings like the intensity and the threshold to get good results and whatever you want so I'm going to change this to 3.5 also you can change the color from here so let's use this blue color also I wanted to add another post processing effect so add override post processing and the effect is called vignette the same thing select everything and try to change the intensity as you can see here you can play around with the settings so I'm going to change this to 0.41 and also I wanted to add a color adjustments so the same thing so let's select color adjustments and over here you can play around with the, sec the settings I always increase the contrast so let's change this to 20 and the same thing for the saturation I wanted to increase that and we have our game that looks amazing 
and now we are going to use a curved shader to curve the wall so our game will look fantastic but to do that we need uh, a curved shader and a script to control the uh, strength of that shader so I have here these files so I'm gonna put the link in the description go ahead and download the uh, this folder shaders then let's use it inside our project so we are going to use that to uh, curve the world and to do that we need to change all the materials of our project so we are going to create new materials that is using the uh, shader which is called curved and lit so we need to change all the materials of the objects and the prefabs of our project for example the coin to change the material so select this coin material then under shader we need to change it so go to unlit then select the curved unlit shader as you can see here when you hit play the coins are white so we need to uh, change the color but this sh shader is using a texture so we need to create textures with the colors for example here we are going to create a texture with a yellow color so to do that let's create a folder for our textures and let's call this folder textures then inside this folder so I created these uh, textures these are simple images with different colors so you can use paint to uh, create uh, this, uh, these textures so you can change the size to 300 by 300 then you can pick up a color for example this color and paint that then you need to save that as a PNG so I already created these textures so go ahead and uh, drag and drop these inside our textures folder we are going to use these instead of using the uh, colors to, cre to create all the materials of our project now let's go ahead and uh, select the coin material and select the uh, image with the yellow color and now the problem is going to be fixed so we are going to do that for, for all the materials in our uh, scene so we are going to open all the prefabs and change the uh, default materials for example here the road as you can see we have three materials a gray, a white and a yellow one so we are going to create uh, these materials and use the uh, curved and lit shader so go under materials right click create material and let's call this gray for example then the same thing we need to change the shader so go ahead and select the curved and lit shader and use the image with the gray color so I'm going to do that for all the needed materials then go ahead and select the road 3d model and over here let's use the new materials for example the gray uh, the white and the yellow one which is actually a brown color then we need to attach uh, the script so uh, select your main camera and under the shaders uh, folder we have this script so go ahead and drag and drop this into your main camera then over here you can change the strength of the curve now when you go back to the uh, prefab you see that this uh, model is bended as you can see it right now so we are going to do that for all the uh, prefabs and always you can go back to the script and change the strength of the curve from here so I'm going to update the materials of all the objects inside the uh, game so for example let's open up the, uh, uh, the second tile and let's apply the new materials with the new shader that is going to curve uh, the uh, world so for example here when we change the uh, materials you see that the uh, road is bended but we need to apply the same thing for the uh, traffic cones 
for example here we need to add a new material so uh, let's create another one under here create material and let's call this orange and the same thing let's select the uh, curved unlit shader and apply the texture the orange texture which is this one then go ahead and select the traffic cones and apply the uh, new materials to these models and as you can see uh, everything is bended so I'm gonna do that for all the uh, prefabs Now if you play the game again, you see that uh, the uh, tiles are curved and you can change the strength of the curve from here. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you can play around with the, uh, this parameter to get the uh, best results. So I'm going to choose this value, so go ahead and copy it, then select the main camera and paste that value. Now we are going to change the material of the player, so as you can see here we have the Wii 3D model. We have to change the material of the wheel, so here we have a black and a brown color. So let's create a new material. So the same thing, select the, uh, the curved unlit shader from here and let's select the black image and then go ahead and drag and drop the new material and also we can change the, uh, uh, the other one so you can choose the blue color or the yellow one that's looking ok for now then let's hit play again and that's pretty much it now our game is great and it's looking fantastic you can always select the post processing empty game object and change some uh, parameters and you can select whatever you want from here Finally, I wanted to apply the same post-processing effects inside the menu scene. So go ahead and uh, make a prefab of this uh, post-processing empty game object. Then open up the menu scene. After that, open the prefabs folder and drag and drop the post-processing empty game object. And uh, drag and drop the uh, script inside the main camera. So that we can curve the tile. And check post-processing to apply the effects then hit play now you see we have a cool game uh, with some post processing effects so i hope you enjoyed this video so if you have any question or comment feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and uh, have a great day